If you are following along with the tutorial, you should have LT Spice downloaded and an instance of it opened. The first video is to help you get acquainted with navigating through the menu, starting a new schematic, setting up your drafting and waveform color preferences, placing parts and organizing your schematic by moving and dragging, and then running a simple simulation called a DC operating point. Go to File, New Schematic. Now the default color preference here is to have this gray background, which I'm not a big fan of. So we can go to Tools, Color Preferences, we're on Schematic, we'll go Background, and to make it white you move them all to the right. To the right. I also like my wires to be black, so I'm going to change those as well. We are going to build a simple resistor divider circuit with values that I took from SparkFun's tutorial on voltage dividers written by Jimbo. Before we get into that, let's go over what all these little icons are at the top of the screen. These are your quick access buttons to things like new schematic, open a file, save. Here you can get to your control panel, drafting options, color scheme, that's going to bring up that same palette el uh, editor that we brought up earlier. This is your uh, how you run your simulation. My uh, analog professor called this poking the running man. This is how you halt the simulation. This is your zooming options. Here's how you cut apart, so if you place something and you place too many of them, you need to get rid of them, use that. Copy, search, is your print. This is the wire tool, so you're going to connect all your components together. This is your ground tool, every circuit needs a ground. This is your net, so if you want to, well, we'll go over that in a minute. This is your resistor, capacitor, inductor, diode, component, so let's click on that. This is where all of your other parts live. This is your move tool, your drag tool, undo, redo, rotate, mirror. That's how you, if you want to place a, some text. Another way to do that is go here to your um, spice directive or your dot command and click on comment. And we'll cover more of this later. Okay, so let's build the circuit. Let's place two resistors down. And now the cool thing about this is that each time you want to place a part, you don't have to go pick one up. It'll save it so that you just can lay down as many as you need when you need that part. The way to get out of that is to right click. So now let's go ahead and use this cut tool and remove all of these extra things that I laid down. All right. Uh, we are going to need a ground and we need a voltage source. So let's go to our components, head over to voltage, place it down, right click to escape. Now I don't like the orientation of this, so we're going to rotate it. So here you can either use the hotkey, which is control R, or you can click on the rotate button. Use the wire tool to connect it. So you're just going to like left click and uh, when two points, when two connection points are made, it'll automatically uh, stop using the wire tool. And then we need to connect this side to ground as well. All right. So let's use the drag tool to move this up a little bit. Just make it a little bit prettier. And we are trying to calculate the voltage off this point here, so let's label that node. V out. It's going to be an output. Place it here. And I don't like the way that looks either, so I'm going to drag this out just a little bit. Okay, or not. Let's try this a different way. Just add a little wire, and then we'll label that V out.
Okay, that looks better. Now let's add some values. So from the tutorial, Vn was 5 volts. And the way I'm changing this is I'm just right clicking over the part. So if you right click over R1, R1 in the tutorial was 1.7K. R2 was 3.3K. And according to that calculator in the tutorial, this node V out should be equal to 3.3 volts. So let's see if that is the case. So if we come over here to simulate, we can go to run, and it's going to pull up the simulation command editor. And these are all the different types of simulations you can do. Transient, AC analysis, DC sweep, noise, DC transfer, and here finally what the one that we're going to do is the DC operating point. And the syntax for that is just dot op. So we can either put that down here, the way that it's shown, or what we can do is go to dot op and in the spice directive type dot op. And then we'll put that down. And now let's run that. And we're going to get all these voltages that we were expecting. So we know that V1 is 5 volts, and according to the tutorial and the voltage divider um, equation, that we should get 3.3 volts here. And we do. And that's it for the first video.